All right, we are back on. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to go over Chipotle, currently going for a $90 billion valuation, $62.41. Okay, let's see what's going on. So Chipotle just finished their 51 stock split. Pretty much every shareholder who held Chipotle received 49 additional shares for each share held. With the 50 to one stock split, there's not really any change in economic value. If you've already held Chipotle, it'll pretty much just make the stock a little bit more accessible to people who couldn't afford the $3,000 share price. I guess let's check out their website first, see what's new. Yeah, they have this new flavor, Chicken Alpha Store. It's actually pretty good, a little spicy for me. If you haven't tried a quesarito, by the way, at Chipotle, go ask for one next time you go. What do I think about this stock on the top of my head? I feel like there's still a lot of room to grow, especially because they just did that 50 to 1 stock split. So psychologically, I think people are going to be thinking this is a cheaper stock. Currently in the past year, it's up 51%. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and start with quarterly data. So their most recent earnings quarter one, uh, they posted 2.7 billion. That is a 14% year over year increase. And on the latest earnings per share, they posted 0.26. That is a 23% increase year over year. And if you look at the past year on that earnings per share, actually the past six quarters, if you take a look at that, um, they've been up year over year consistently for the past six quarters. Yes, they aren't growing as fast as they were back in uh, September of 2023. Right now, they are averaging between the 20-30% growth range on the earnings per share. So both total revenue and earnings per share still growing looks good. Profit margins since 2022 have been growing. Uh, we are at 41% profit margins. And for their cash flows, um, the latest cash flow reported, they reported 32 cents. That is up 33% year over year. And cash flow from operations. Uh, 569 from cash flow from operations, which is up 25% year over year. There was a little bump in uh, the December quarter, but other than that, cash flows have been growing every year, year over year. Uh, 359 in net income for the quarter. So this is just from the data I have, but it looks like from the past seven quarters, net income has been growing year over year. So let's go ahead and take a look at yearly data so we can get a longer term view of how this company is doing. Okay, so the first thing I want to look at is the latest quarter one 2024 earnings call. First thing that of course catches my eye is the amount of cash they hold. So currently right now, their balance sheet remains strong. I currently have $2.2 billion in cash, restricted cash and investment with no debt. Guys, that's a lot of cash for a company to be holding with no long term debt. That means they are free to do whatever they want with all that cash. All that cash can be used to return to shareholders and also expand the business which they are currently doing and we'll get into that real quick okay 2.2 billion dollars in cash and that's just cash alone you got to remember they also have receivables coming in they also have their inventory real estate net property plan and equipment they have long-term investments but let's go ahead and look at some more stuff earnings per share growth i'm going to highlight things in green that i'm going to be talking about earnings per share growth have been consistent average earnings per share for the past five years is uh, 0 0.50 for the past two years 2022 and 2023 earnings per share have gone up 41 percent and 36 percent respectively net income had a huge improvement from 2022 to 2023 currently net income is going at 1.2 billion am i reading that right yeah 1.2 billion in net income that's actually pretty insane and in total they're making around 10 billion dollars in revenue so according to the latest earnings call transcript what are some new growth opportunities for Chipotle? One of those is opening up new restaurants. They're talking about opening up 47 new restaurants and 43 new Chipotle lanes in the coming year. Uh, most of the growth opportunities will be accelerating in North America. So yeah, as you can see, they're using the cash for good use. Um, they're opening up new restaurants, um, but they are also expanding in Europe and Canada. Another way they are giving back to their shareholders is 400 million share repurchase program. Uh, so these are just some of the catalysts that Chipotle has for themselves for the next coming year. So there is some room to grow, but let's take a look at some of the past data. All right, one of uh, Warren Buffett's favorite metrics he likes to look at is retained earnings. They've had good consistent retained earnings for the past five years. And when you take a look at return on capital employed and also return on total capital, it's just a financial ratio that measures a company's profitability and the efficiency of which they use that capital. Pretty much just shows how a company is generating profits from the capital they employ. So we like to see high return on capital employed it indicates that the company is more effectively generating profits from their capital. Pretty much all of my boxes right? return on assets look good return on equity looks good return on capital looks good lots of cash no long-term debt year over year earnings per share growth total revenue growth year over year i think chipotle has a lot of room to grow i like their food so i guess from october there was a little jump that we missed i feel like at these prices along with the psychological effect of this stock split chipotle does have a little bit room to grow maybe wait for a little pullback since we did just miss a 55 percent jump in the past couple months but other than that I think Chipotle is a buy. Let me know what you guys think. Share your thoughts below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.